Hello Captains, um, this is a quick setup uh, that I just wanted to show you uh, using uh, trigonometry and uh, the formula provided. Um, the mission is just to sink two ships uh, which I have decided to target the actual escorts. I've already got a draft, a fully draft and uh, I prepare the configuration Okay, basically what I did, uh, select the trajectory line, yeah, and then uh, obviously my my ship is my boat is fully stopped, okay, zero knots, okay. So um, I put my head into uh, torpedo head into zero degrees, uh, and um, according to my chart, um, the torpedo uh, distance is uh, T1, seven thousand three hundred and fifty five meters which is roughly 7,356 7, 55 by 56 so I made a circle that cuts that area there then uh, I made a distance of 1,548 meters which is actually the, dis the torpedo distance that gave me the this uh, triangular shape okay which does the line of sight and does the impact uh, torpedo impact area Okay, so taking that into consideration, um, I'm gonna uh, um, put two torpedoes onto this one and two torpedoes onto this one, and hopefully, I will destroy them. Um, that's the actual configuration. Yeah, I'm waiting for that. I'm just gonna go a little bit lower, and now I'm gonna because everything's set up. Okay, this is the actually full layout. Okay, uh, I can get rid of this if I want. Okay, this is the initial circle. So I'll put the distance because my my main goal is to to make this uh, this number first. Okay, that's a that's a circle. Whenever I cut, I make a ninety degree angle because I want this line, and it cuts there. So then uh, with the ruler. I use that point and more or less the center of the submarine, yeah, which is this one, that gave me the the triangle that I wanted. Okay, the rest is irrelevant now. Okay, and obviously this is taking into consideration that the sub will not be uh, sorry, not the sub, uh, the enemy ships will not be disturbed. Hence, I'm not doing anything crazy. Okay. Oh, by the way, this little circle here was to actually calculate using this to the target speed. Yeah, and the target speed from here to here um, is um, uh, 8.6 knots, true knots, or true speed, I would say. Okay, that's the only thing I use this for, nothing else. I haven't seen any program that can give me um, a correct measurement of the speed. Anyway, that's sorted. That's the reason for this uh, circle. Okay, I don't need that. Okay, uh, I don't even need to plot the correct, I mean, it's a pretty uh, accurate course that I've uh, plotted. Yeah, so I don't need to modify because it's actually reflecting the true course of the ship. Okay, and it's correct. Okay, so um, I'm just going to fast forward because the intention is to actually kill this ship first and this one oh, almost simultaneously. That would be my uh, what I'm trying to achieve here. Okay, so I'm gonna fast forward and uh, see what happens. Well, let's get rid of this circle, but I don't need it. Uh, I don't need this circle anymore. No, I don't need it. Uh, the 90 degree angle. Nah, I don't need the 90 degree angle because I've already got. This is the. This is what I'm. What I want. Yeah, I don't even need the path. Okay, I don't need the path. Okay, that would be the actual gauge. Okay, let's see if I don't get discovered. Okay, I'd, I haven't even made a line here. I'm just respecting this line here. Okay, right. So let's fast forward, see what happens. All the solutions are plotted one and two for this one, and three and four for the second one. Okay. The depth is 
8 meters below the queue because this one is 6.3 and this one is 3.2 so this one uh, hold on, this one is 5 and 5 respectively okay so all sorted right okay so we just have to wait we could actually trace it. Nothing wrong with that. Okay, this would be the impact area, and it's almost 90 degrees, so it's fairly consistent. Here, the same thing applies. Yep. Okay, we're nearly ready. I'm going to put it at speed of one when it crosses. So, because I want to launch the two torpedoes uh, in the two thirds if I can. Yeah, so, let's do it properly. Okay, speed at one or times one. Let me get it a bit nearer. That's my launch point. Okay, now let's prepare to launch. So two thirds of of the the one third first, which will be roughly there. And there two torpedoes out. Okay, there you are. I hope the, I hope it doesn't see it. Okay, we can put a little bit faster work as well again. Ready, time one, select one. Torpedo three, fire. Torpedo two, at four, fire. Okay, four torpedoes away, two to that one, and two to that one. As I said, the mission is only to sink two enemy ships. So, I'm not going to go for the big ships. Okay. So, I want to see if it's. Okay, like that. In theory, it should hit almost simultaneously. Okay. This proportion is similar to this proportion here. But regardless, even if it's uh, f even within five seconds, the escort's got no chance to deviate. Uh, yeah, it's gonna hit here first. So let's have, have a quick look. Oh, definitely two good hits. One, bang. Yeah, bang, bang, bang. Hello, right in the middle. So it would be one, two, three, four. Okay, four good hits. That's destroyed, and that's destroyed. Yeah, so the system works. It's going to be mission accomplished. Let's see what happens. Uh, you can see one one sunk, second sunk. Yeah, confirmed. That's it. Mission accomplished. Uh, yeah, thank you very much. It is was just a quick uh, t um, video to show how this uh, trigonometry approach works. Thank you, gentlemen. Yes.
and a mission.